Dead by Daylight has added a true monster. Now, we as gamers have been asking for accurate representation of transgender people across the video game industry for 20 plus years now, since you know the original Blizzard games. We thought, where are the fucking trans people at? Now, finally, a Quebec based, comp Quebec based company, I think Behavior is the one that does that by daylight, um, has finally added a very valid transgender killer to the roster of killers in Dead by Daylight, which is nice because most, like, so far they've all been cishats or, like, monsters, like like actual animals. Um, now we actually have a real transgender character. And to make it doubly valid, um, it is voiced by a transgender person. Or a character, if you prefer. Zoe Alexandria says... Regarding my recent viral witch hanging, I voiced the character of the unknown. If you don't know, this is the unknown. Now you know who the unknown is. It's this. At the time of voicing, it was a great experience. I was told at the time I was voicing the character that there was no model and that the creature was supposed to be amorphous. They said they had no model design before I recorded my lines. So it's my assumption that the design team took my medical history and my ability to use multiple voices as an opportunity to create character models that encapsulate my medical history as trans and capitalize on catering to the transphobic community. I was tricked into voicing a stereotype since yeah, this is, yeah, this is the stereotype. What does a tranny look like? Something like this, I guess. <clears throat> Since yesterday, I've been virally harassed for being trans by thousands of people since yesterday. Um, just to make sure you know, since yesterday, this is what's been happening. Many folk in the trans community are up in arms over this, and rightfully so. I feel that reparations... <laughs> give me that. Give me that. Give me that fint. Believe my pain, goddammit. Give me that grape-flavored fint. Um... I feel that reparations from the team that deliberately tricked me is the only logical next choice of action. I am so upset, so infuriated that people are comparing trans people to these clearly transphobic character skins. If I had any idea of the fallout of what would happen after simply voicing a character, I never would have in the first place. Let me personally apologize to anyone who has been a victim of transphobia due to this release. Please know you are loved. Know that you are valid. As for me, I am not okay. This has ruined my reputation, has put me physically at risk for being attacked in public. <sighs> so sick of hearing this shit. Oh my god, I um I did a tranny thing and I'm about to fucking die. The right wing death squads with baseball bats and anti material rifles are jumping down my fucking chimney as we speak. Uh yeah, right. I think if that was the case, these people would be less annoying, but they're not. So I'm assuming they're at zero risk for any fucking anything. There were no diversity consultants on this project. Oh, heavens. Heavens, what, what could we possibly do without our diversity consultants? The company knew that making a stereotypical man in a dress as a character and having a trans voice actress voice it would bring lots of money and people back to the game. I'm not dumb. I know how marketing works. This seems to be a huge play, and the trans community, along with myself, were the victims. Uh... Genocider CO points out that he even has a heckin' wholesome hunchback. And this is his Morty animation, I guess. He um he he's kinda creepy actually. Can I uh so this is the video footage of the of the monster. Oh this is like What is lot. up YouTube with Spooky Loops and I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. I might Where's the Morty? Is this the Morty animation? Oh there we go. Hell yeah. He's supposed to be like glitchy and weird and like like um a very uncanny valley. That's what they're going for. Um, in the original trailer, it notes that uh, the monster first attacks a girl in the bathroom. That's not a joke. That's actually what happens. That uh, he has a little little peepee -pee that comes out that shoots coom at at the women before you kill them. Oh, uh, if you shoot them with the coom, you only have to hit them once. I think is how that works. Once you get coomed on, it's just a one hit uh, down. So that's how his power works. Um, let's see. Oh, this is the, it's supposed to be like, oh, this is the, the other character that comes with the pack and it's very obviously supposed to be like a tranny. It's wearing like a trans colored heart choker and shit. So, uh, I, I really feel like this was an accident cause I'm not joking. Uh, behavior games is probably like the most pause fucking game company that's ever existed. 
So it really does feel like it's just a, a big mistake somehow. I don't know how they, I honestly don't know how they do that. I think it's partly because it's a skin. It's obviously supposed to be like a, a male, um, but uh, it has a female variation because it's supposed to be amorphic. So they just went for extra uncanny and they went for something silly. And that's basically all there is to it. The kill. This is the tranny, by the way. And he openly calls himself a tranny. Tranny Rage. And this is like his thumbnail. New video premiere. And I'm a tranny and he didn't know. Date rape video. Um, tranny edition. What's in my bag? So he just calls himself a tranny. Like, this is obviously like a weird, creepy skinwalker person. Um... And then finally, uh, almost a day, I think a day after the original Spurg out, the tranny comes out and says, there has been a recent misunderstanding. Anybody that thinks the skins are going away is not in the loop. Behavior is allegedly aware of the mass transphobic remarks and memes being made, and the gaming community is not a reflection of the game developers. I wasn't kept in the loop what the character's final looks would be. I was giving an ambiguous description for the part, and even though I tried my best to find out more, continually asking for more info, that wasn't possible. This is why I was upset. The skins themselves were never the issue. Lack of communication was. So please stop boycotting behavior. They are not transphobic. It is wrong to take bits of info and jump to your own conclusion. Behavior is a good company, and it has nothing but kind and supportive through this tough process of receiving mass harassment for my involvement in the character please leave it alone i think it's supposed to, i think that line is supposed to be like a character line like leave it alone or something and then they sign off so what they did is um behavior said uh you have contracts with us you're supposed to help in the promotion of this character release we paid you and if you don't shut the fuck up and retract your dumbass fucking statement, uh, we are going to sue you into oblivion. We are going to drive you to suicide through the legal process. I promise you there will not be another day of your life where you are ever happy if you don't shut the fuck up about this. Um, and so they did. And I, I say that it went down like that because their behavior, the tranny's behavior after this, um, has been a little bit weird. And I'll explain. Oh, this is just a nice meme. Oh, okay. So part of it is that the, the actual monster looks a lot like the tranny. It does kind of seem like this character face is based off of the tranny, um, which is it lends a little bit of credence to that the, the character designers were making fun of them. Like, that's really close. <laughs> like, just the face looks really close and the long neck uh, looks close. So that's a bit weird. The other one is this. Um... Now that this has been pointed out that the character does look like him, he put this as his official like background on on Twitter, which I, like I'm forced to assume that this is supposed to be like tongue in cheek, like blink twice if you need help type thing. Like, oh yeah, sure they're not they're totally not transphobic. I'm not, you know I, I'm so not offended by this representation that I'm gonna put it on my profile. This was made by Behavior Games for Dead by Daylight. This is their official character release of a trans character. So it, it really seems to me like he's deliberately trying to um, cause problems. Uh, and then there's this. Uh, he actually played it, and he's Ash 4, which I guess maybe if the chapter just came out. Oh, no, there's no way. He's never played this game before. This is like his first game ever as a, as a killer, and he played his, kill, uh, his character. And said, first time playing, I won. Good old Lenny won. And he says Lenny, so I guess that's the character's name. I don't know. I love this gameplay. When a match for me on a PS5, add me a little, you can play with me. So walked it back, put this as the background, and said, no, I totally love this game now. This is so awesome. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm enjoying it. You want to play with me? Tee hee. And uh, that's, it, it feels like a little bit, little bit sarcastic. Cool. Um, let me take a sip. Sorry, I'm feeling really haggard. Too much true and shine, I guess. You know what? Oh fuck. I I you know what? Let's watch this. Let's watch this together. I've not seen this yet. Um, so I, I feel like the most appropriate way to enjoy this would be with all of you, my dear friends. Dylan Mulvaney put out a music video 
uh, with an original composition called Days of Girlhood. Chat, let's watch this together. What's funny is that um, the way that gay men talk when they try to impersonate like a woman is actually kind of offensive. I'm gonna say that. That might be an unpopular take. Let me find actually because there's um, I want to say there's voice lines by the tranny. Let's find this real quick. I'm gonna scan through the behavior. Um, the bed daylight thread and see if I can find this because there are videos of. The tranny talking, and I don't know if I'll be able to find this. I will say this: that the tranny has been getting dunked on by um, Ricky Berwick because like the monster is like all the knuckles and stuff in it crack when it moves because it has like a weird body type. So D Ricky Berwick has been posting transphobic things on uh, on uh, Twitter and trolling behavior, asking for reparations. I can't find it. I can find it on YouTube just real quick because I want to. I want to like show you. Let's see the unknown voice lines. Just be aware that there is like a jump scare to this. I think. Yeah, there is like a little uh, music sting. So if you hear like a music sting, that's what it is. There is sort of like a monster jump scare. So uh, it is. It is kind of creepy, but I do want to show off like the voice lines. <laughs> No is tonight. Prepare for the expedition. So basically it talks with the male voice when you just have its default skin. But when you equip a female skin, like this one, this lovely female skin, um, it, it switches voice. And I think that it's the same voice actor, so it's the tranny doing like a male voice and then a female voice, which is probably I mean I guess that's sort of like a legitimate reason. I mean, there isn't really a legitimate reason, but that's as close to a legitimate reason as you can possibly get because you want the same voice actor to voice female and male lines to make something creepy without adding like special effects to just like pitch shift it. Um, but the way that he talks when he tries to sound like a woman is just like, I'm a dumb bitch and I'm a spooky monster. I'm a spooky, spooky monster and I'm coming for you. It's like that. It's like a, that's like a female voice to a tranny. See, that's the, that's it, Ricky Berwicking at you. A little laughter too. See what I mean? Like a, to a tranny, a voice, a female voice line is just like do a valley girl accent. You get me crazy. Yeah, it is like a contrapoints voice. That's a that's a, that's all I wanted to show you. Trainings are creepy. Good job. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um. 
Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CA Save Remember to like and subscribe.